So guys, Microsoft launched Windows 10 to 2 S2 update and I already did a video on that. You can also watch those videos how you can get that update. It's very simple. Just go and check for update. And I also did a post on this Reddit on Windows 10 page. So you can see Windows 10 to 2 S2 ISO coming in one hour. And I also got 50k views on this post. Even these kind of views I do not get on my videos. Anyway, no issue at all. After posting and some people upgraded and they are telling like, yeah, it is a feature focused on productivity and management. So all these things are here there is a no comments on this like what is new in this what are the features even nobody noticed any new feature as you can see 100 people are commented and discuss so much about this windows 10 to 2 h2 update and some users also commented like fps drops in video games which i am testing right now and this will be the next video so you can see almost 20 fps performance down okay no issue at all some people also commented like we are facing 100 percent disk usage problem even system in ideal condition and some people also saying experiencing dying PC after this update after reboot and they are just stuck in this reboot section loop and they are not able to restore their system and this guy just did the clean install of Windows 10 again this is a very frustrating right so in this video I will tell you how you can fix this problem by uninstalling Windows update because you can't fix by doing some setting because it's a coding thing you need to debug your code that will be done by Microsoft developer okay so as you can see whenever you go update section you will not see here rollback option because it's not a feature update so how you can uninstall this update so basically just go into windows update here you will see view update history so just click on this uninstall updates short your update according to installed on as you can see feature update to windows 10 to 2 s2 via enablement package and it's on 19 so just right click on it and uninstall this update it will save you to restart your pc so after this your gaming performance or any problem you are facing that is going to fix and maybe you are stuck in a loop of for blue screen so you can just go to troubleshoot in troubleshoot you will see option like uh, uninstall windows update so you can also do that from there okay so just restart after that your problem are going to fix 